We, um, we also, I think, are blessed in the UNC system to have remarkable faculty. Uh, and I, I, I say often that you can't have a great university without great faculty. And it's, it's uh, sometimes you, you uh, have an opportunity to share faculty with others, to introduce them, let them speak, share their knowledge and expertise. Well, today I have a particularly high honor, and you have a real privilege, I think, to hear from one of our faculty, because uh, it's my opportunity to introduce to you a member of the faculty at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, uh, who I think exemplifies the global impact of scholarly research and our collaborations around the world about as well as anyone can. Uh, his name is Dr. Aziz Sanjar. Uh, he is the Sarah Graham Keenan Professor of Biochemistry and Biophysics at the UNC School of Medicine in Chapel Hill. He's been on the faculty since 1982, engaged in his research here um, since 1982. He's also a member of the UNC Lineberger Comprehensive Cancer Center. Uh, just last month, you might have noticed that Dr. Sanjar was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his groundbreaking work in mapping DNA repair in our cells. His work provides a crucial basis of knowledge necessary to develop better treatments that protect DNA against damage, which can result, that damage can often result in cancer. Uh, he shared the, word, the, the award with two other researchers. One, 20 minutes away at Duke University, a collaboration between two great institutions, um, and the other with a scientist from Great Britain, uh, a worldwide international collaboration. Three faculty that came together and uh, made life-changing discoveries that resulted in a Nobel Prize. Dr. Sanjar uh, attended medical school in Turkey, and uh, when he uh, left there, he wanted to earn a doctorate. So he came as an international student uh, to the University of Texas at Dallas, um, where he earned his PhD as an international student. I asked him, um, I said, Dr. Sanjar, when you came here to get your PhD, did you plan to stay? He said, oh, no. I was going back to my country. So here's a man who came here uh, after he got his medical degree in 1969 to get his PhD and go home. But he stayed. And he stayed um, and became the first scientist east of the Rocky Mountains to clone a gene. And he came to UNC Chapel Hill in 1982 and began research on mapping DNA damage. And here we are in 2015 with me having the honor of introducing to you Dr. Aziz Sanjar, the Nobel Prize winner in chemistry for 2015. Please welcome Dr. Sanjar. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not Tar Heel born, but I'm Tar Heel raised, and I hope that I'll be Tar Heel dad. Uh, so <laughs> as my dad, uh, I, 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 I love uh, uh, North Carolina. I love my university, and, and I'm grateful for, uh, um, for what North Carolina and University of North Carolina have uh, provided me. Um, as a young boy, I, I, I never could have imagined that I'd be standing in front of you today and um, as, as a Nobel Prize winner, and I, I'm truly humbled and, uh, and honored to, to, to be here and, um, and present to you uh, my, my views on, on certain issues. Um, lo looking back, um, uh, I see how my upbringing actually, uh, and my parents in particular, had a tremendous impact on, on my uh, career path and, and uh, what, what brought me uh, here. As one of, of um, eight children, I grew up on a farm um, in southeastern Turkey. Uh, we grew vegetables and fruits uh, and poplars for, for export. My father worked day in, day out and on our farm. 
he, he was the hardest working man um, I have ever known, and he was and, and, and still is my, my role model. My mother also worked very hard with, with eight children uh, to look after, and she was emphatic on <clears throat> about uh, um, our education. My, my parents grew up um, during, uh, for, for Western countries, it was World War II. For, for Turkey, is the 10-year war, because Turkey entered war with, with the Balkan states, and, and then World War I, and then War of National Liberation, uh, which lasts from 1912 to 1922. And because of that, the, the country was devastated and all the resources went into military. And as a consequence, my parents did not have any education. They were both Ill illiterate. But um, after the uh, War of National Liberation, uh, uh, the father of modern republic, uh, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, uh, put great emphasis on, on education. And my mother was very appreciative of that, and it pushed all the kids to, to get education. And, and she made sure that we, we, we all did. And um, that's how my siblings and I attended the primary school near my hometown, uh, which is Sour. And um, while I was in high school, I, I had two passions. And the number one was soccer, and, <laughs> and the number two was, you know, was, was, was chemistry. And, and uh, to be honest with you, I really want to be a soccer player and play for the Dutch <laughs> national team. And, and I was a very good uh, so, uh, goalkeeper for, for my high school team, but uh, I, I realized I was uh, about uh, uh, two, three inches shorter than to be uh, 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 in a national, uh, 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 national team level. And, and so I concentrate on, um, on, on my studies. Um, when I graduated from high school, I wanted to be a chemist, and uh, I, I took the entrance exam to the um, uh, uh, chemistry faculty and uh, did well, and, uh, uh, but uh, I had peer pressure from my high school uh, friends, and they were all going to medical school, so I ended up going to medical school, so that was the peer pressure. Um, uh, upon uh, uh, attending medical school, it, it, this was a, a, a small farm boy from the boondocks of Turkey uh, going to Istanbul, which is called Cosmopolitan City, and uh, it, it was a, 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 a culture shock. And, and, uh, and also, it was a very frightening experience for me because uh, um, here I was um, coming from a remote part of Turkey and competing with the best students from best uh, uh, high school uh, high schools in Istanbul and, and Ankara and other big cities. So um, um, I, I worked very hard and part out of fear of failing. And, and, um, and in, in the end, I end up being number one in, in my medical school, uh, graduating uh, top of my class, but um, um, I, I really, um, it's, it's a regret to this day. I, I, uh, Istanbul, in my opinion, is the most beautiful city in the world, but I was so concentrated on, on, on my work, I just did not enjoy Istanbul. I didn't see Istanbul. So uh, I just studied the whole time. Um, in any event, after graduating, um, um, I, I went to, to medical school. Uh, from, um, from medical school, I, I, um, I went back home and I practiced from uh, where, where I came from. And I, I felt that uh, uh, I had duty for, for uh, my part of the country to, to, uh, to pay him back. And, um, uh, I ran a free clinic for, for about six months, and during that period, the Ministry of, uh, of Health of the uh, Turkish Republic was passing through town, and they told him that there is a, a doctor who's doing this. He said, well, we may as well put you on the payroll for Ministry of Health, which they did, and I, I continued to, to work for, um, as a Ministry of Health employee for uh, another year and a half. Um, uh, my, my practice uh, during those years was perhaps the um, uh, most um, 
uh, satisfying, the happiest time in my life. And, and the reason was uh, most of the people uh, vi visiting the clinic were seeing a doctor for the first time in their lives. And with a simple uh, medical intervention, I, 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 could, I, I would save a, a child's life. And, and uh, um, uh, there is nothing in the entire world that, that compares to, to, the, uh, uh, to saving a child's life, both, both for the kid and for, for the uh, uh, happiness that you bring to, to the parents. Um, but I, I, at the same time, I found um, my, my work in the clinic some, sometimes was somehow frustrating because um, I would administer drugs. You, you, a patient comes with certain symptoms, you, you give drugs. Um, and um, as a medical doctor, at least back then, I, I didn't really know why, why uh, this drug worked for this disease uh, or that worked well for another. For example, I would give penicillin for streptococcus, uh, streptomycin for tuberculosis. I didn't know why penicillin didn't kill tuberculosis. And, and so there, there was that uh, sort of uneasiness and, and curiosity and, uh, that nagged me um, at me long enough. And I, that's when I decided uh, that uh, I want to come to the United States and, and, and do research. And uh, uh, I was fortunate enough to um, find uh, Dr. Stan Rupert uh, at the University of Texas, Dallas, who is the person who discovered DNA repair single-handedly, um, and um, um, I uh, end up doing my uh, PhD work uh, under him, uh, purifying and characterizing the first DNA repair enzyme, which is a, a blue light activated enzyme that uh, repairs DNA damage caused by, uh, um, by ultraviolet light. Um, I, in the beginning, it was rough going because uh, medical school had uh, uh, given me outstanding uh, theoretical um, uh, background, but I, I was uh, uh, really, I didn't have any uh, lab experience, and I kept failing in, in the lab. and. Uh, one day, one, my benchmate said, uh, Aziz, uh, you're really not cut out to be a scientist. I hear you are a good doctor. Why don't you go back to Turkey and, 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 uh, and practice? And that's when my, my, my father's work ethic, ethic uh, kicked in. And I said, I work twice as hard as anyone else and, and, and do it. And I, I did that. And I also came up with uh, creative ideas and solve the important problems. Um, and during that period, I was working so hard day and night, and I, I was there in the lab uh, all the time. And there was another uh, student who was like me. She was from Texas, uh, from Waco. And uh, so we would work uh, late hours. And uh, uh, one day, we argued over uh, who's going to use a uh, certain instrument and uh, late at night, and it was just the two of us. And uh, 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 so um, eventually um, that argument uh, uh, evolved into being friends, and uh, we took it from there. And uh, now today, uh, she's my wife, and she's professor at UNC also. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, in, 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 in Dallas, I also learned the, the importance of in, international collaboration. In, in Dallas, uh, there, there were um, American-born and raised uh, students and postdocs, as well as uh, students and postdocs from, uh, uh, from uh, yeah, Taiwan, from England, from Germany, uh, from uh, all over the world. And, and they have a, a, a Turk as well. Um, um, so, uh, and, and what I learned there, um, because before that I didn't really have any uh, international uh, exposure, I, I learned that w we were all basically the same and, and uh, that we, there were lots of things we, we could learn from uh, one another and working as, 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 a, uh, as a group, regardless of our um, national or ethnic background, we could accomplish things. And, and so some of my, my best friends uh, to this day uh, um, 
um, were made during that period. Um, after uh, completing my, my doctorate, I went to Yale as a, uh, for, for postdoctoral research for five years, and, and then I applied for uh, a faculty position to about 50 universities, and North Carolina was the only university that uh, offered me a job, and I'm truly grateful for that because this is the best place to be, uh, the uh, best place to do research, and uh, I, I was worried when, when I, I got the offer because I was in uh, I, I, Ivy League uh, school and all I knew was, was Ivy League and I came here, it's Ivy League here, no, no problem. <laughs> and, and so um, I, I truly, uh, it's, it's not because somebody wrote this for me, I truly love North Carolina, everything <laughs> about, about North Carolina. About, um, <clears throat> Uh, about Chapel Hill, uh, from Dean Smith to women's soccer. Uh, I think in, in, uh, over the last eight days, I've been to football, volleyball, basketball, uh, 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 soccer, um, uh, games, and, and so on. Um, um, but I, I, I've never uh, severed my, my, my uh, um, um, Ties with my home country, Turkey, and and it, because at, at, as it as has been emphasized in, 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 in talks before me, it's really important that we understand one another, that there, there is an international understanding, and for that uh, purpose, uh, my wife Gwen and I have uh, established a, a, a foundation that uh, provide uh, uh, housing, temporary housing for Turk students and scholars to help them adjust to, to life in, in the United States and, uh, um, and also uh, 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 provide uh, cultural activities to help Americans and, and Turks uh, um, understand one another better. Um, I, uh, finally, I, I just want to say this. Uh, um, as many institutions and committees are not very welcome in uh, the so-called outsiders right now, it is in the political discourse. Uh, a week ago, um, this day, we met with uh, the four Nobelists from the United States met with Obama. Three of us were foreign born. Uh, so uh, I think with, with, with that then, um, I, I, I will, uh, uh, I, I hope that gets the message across. Uh, that, uh, thank you very much.